Imagine stepping into a scene from Jurassic Park where hidden forces shape the world unseen. Beneath one of North America's most iconic landscapes lies a secret buried for over 300 million years. The Great Lakes are not just natural wonders formed by glaciers alone. Recent scientific breakthroughs have uncovered an ancient geological maestro, the Cape Verde hotspot, that set the stage for their creation long before humans existed. This hidden conductor was pivotal in molding the foundation upon which the Great Lakes rest today. As we plunge into this extraordinary discovery, we'll explore how Earth's deep past continues to influence our present environment. Join us on this journey through time and geology as we unravel the 300 million year old secret that shaped the Great Lakes. The Hidden Fire Beneath Beneath the vast expanse of the Great Lakes lies a geological feature that has been quietly influencing the region's landscape for millions of years. The Cape Verde Hotspot. Hotspots are essentially plumes of hot mantle material that rise from deep within the Earth, causing localized melting and deformation of the crust. Unlike the more famous hotspots that have birthed volcanic islands like Hawaii and Yellowstone, the Cape Verde Hotspot exerted a more subtle yet profound impact on what would become the Great Lakes region. According to a groundbreaking study published in Geophysical Research Letters, the Cape Verde Hotspot was active around 300 million years ago during the era of the supercontinent Pangaea. At that time, the hotspot was positioned beneath the area that would later evolve into North America. The intense heat and upwelling caused by the hotspot led to significant thinning and stretching of the Earth's lithosphere, the rigid outer layer of the planet. This geological activity created a low-lying topography, a foundational feature that would prove crucial in the formation of the Great Lakes. Abing Lee, a seismologist at the University of Houston and co-author of the study, explained, the plume was under the Great Lakes during 300-200 MA and probably caused lithosphere thinning and low topography needed for forming the lakes during the glacial era. This statement underscores the long-lasting influence of the hotspot, which set the stage for subsequent geological and climatic events that would ultimately carve out the magnificent lakes we see today. The Cape Verde hotspot's legacy is not just a tale of ancient fire, but also a story of Earth's dynamic interior shaping surface features in ways that resonate through millennia. Unlike the volcanic chains formed by other hotspots, the Cape Verde's interaction with the thick, stable lithosphere of North America meant that its effects were more about subtle deformation than explosive volcanic activity. This stability prevented the formation of volcanoes, but was instrumental in creating the necessary conditions for the Great Lakes' eventual genesis. From Pangaea to present to fully grasp the significance of the Cape Verde hotspot's role in shaping the Great Lakes, it's essential to journey back to the time when Pangaea, the supercontinent, dominated Earth's landscape. Approximately 300 million years ago, Pangaea began to break apart, leading to the formation of the modern continents. During this period of continental drift, the Cape Verde hotspot found itself stationed beneath what is now North America. As Pangaea split, the movement of tectonic plates carried the hotspot away from its original position. However, the geological imprint it left behind remained indelible. The thinning and stretching of the lithosphere caused by the hotspot's thermal influence created a pre-existing, low-lying area in the region. This topographical depression was a critical factor that would later be exploited by glacial forces during the last ice age. The Earth's lithosphere is a complex and dynamic layer, constantly being reshaped by tectonic activity, mantle plumes, and other geological processes. The interaction between the Cape Verde hotspot and the North American lithosphere exemplifies how deep Earth processes can have lasting effects on surface geography. The resultant low topography provided a natural basin that was perfectly positioned to be further sculpted by glacial movements tens of millions of years later. Fast forward to the last ice age, around 20,000 years ago, when massive glaciers advanced across North America. These glaciers acted like colossal sculptors, grinding and gouging the Earth's surface. They scraped away at the already low-lying areas created by the hotspot, 
deepening and widening them to form the vast basins that would eventually fill with meltwater. This dual influence of ancient mantle activity and recent glacial movement is what makes the Great Lakes such unique and significant freshwater reservoirs today. The journey from a hotspot beneath Pangaea to the present-day Great Lakes is a testament to the intricate interplay between Earth's internal dynamics and surface processes. It highlights how features formed hundreds of millions of years ago can set the stage for geological events that shape the planet's landscape in more immediate timescales. Understanding this connection not only enriches our appreciation of the Great Lakes, but also provides valuable insights into the broader mechanisms that govern Earth's ever-changing face. Glaciers at Work while the Cape Verde hotspot laid the foundational topography for the Great Lakes, it was the relentless advance and retreat of glaciers during the last ice age that truly carved out the lake's distinctive shapes. Glacial geology plays a pivotal role in the formation of many of the world's largest lakes, and the Great Lakes are no exception. Approximately 20,000 years ago, the Earth was in the grip of the last ice age, a period characterized by extensive glaciation across the northern hemisphere. Massive ice sheets, often miles thick, spread over what is now North America, exerting immense pressure on the landscape. As these glaciers moved, they acted like giant bulldozers, scraping away at the Earth's surface, deepening valleys, and creating depressions. In the case of the Great Lakes, the pre-existing low-lying topography created by the Cape Verde hotspot was further deepened by the glacial movements. As the glaciers advanced, they eroded the land beneath them, carving out expansive basins. When the climate began to warm and the glaciers started to retreat, these basins were left empty, subsequently filling with meltwater to form the lakes we are familiar with today. Lake Superior, for instance, is the largest and deepest of the Great Lakes, holding about 20% of the world's fresh surface water. Its vast expanse and depth are direct results of the glacial sculpting that took place in conjunction with the ancient geological features. The northern shore of Lake Superior in Ontario, Canada, provides a stunning example of how these processes worked hand-in-hand -hand to create such a monumental body of water. The glaciers not only deepened the basins, but also contributed to the lake's irregular shorelines, which are dotted with bays, peninsulas, and islands. The interplay between the Cape Verde hotspot and glacial activity illustrates a broader principle in geology. The Great Lakes are a prime example of how ancient mantle processes and more recent climatic events can combine to create something as vital and impressive as a freshwater system that supports diverse ecosystems and human communities. Moreover, the formation of the Great Lakes has had lasting implications for regional climate, ecology, and human development. The lakes influence weather patterns, provide habitats for countless species, and have been central to the economic and cultural life of the surrounding areas. Understanding their geological origins allows us to appreciate the intricate natural history that has shaped these magnificent bodies of water. Modern Impacts the revelation of the Cape Verde hotspot's role in forming the Great Lakes offers more than just a fascinating glimpse into Earth's deep past. It has significant implications for our understanding of current environmental and ecological dynamics. The Great Lakes are not only geographical landmarks, but also crucial freshwater reservoirs that support a wide range of human and ecological needs. Holding approximately 21% of the world's fresh surface water, the Great Lakes are vital for drinking water, agriculture, industry, and recreation. The ancient geological processes that created their basins have ensured that these lakes are expansive and deep, capable of holding vast amounts of water. This capacity makes them indispensable resources in a world increasingly grappling with water scarcity and climate change. The stability of the lithosphere in the Great Lakes region, a direct consequence of the Cape Verde hotspot's influence, has also contributed to the area's resilience against tectonic disturbances. Unlike regions with active volcanic hotspots that might experience frequent geological upheavals, the Great Lakes area benefits from a relatively stable geological environment. This stability has allowed ecosystems to thrive and human settlements to develop along their shores without the constant threat of volcanic activity or significant land deformation. 
However, the Great Lakes are not immune to the effects of climate change. The Environmental Protection Agency has reported a significant decline in ice cover duration on the lakes since 1973, with some years experiencing less than 20% coverage compared to the historical averages. Lake Superior, in particular, has seen ice duration decrease by up to 46 days per year since the 1970s. These changes have profound implications for local climates, aquatic ecosystems, and industries such as fishing and tourism. The ancient geological foundation provided by the Cape Verde hotspot has thus set the stage for both the benefits and challenges faced by the Great Lakes today. As climate patterns shift, the lake's ability to serve as freshwater reservoirs becomes even more critical. Understanding their geological origins helps scientists predict how these lakes might respond to ongoing environmental changes and what measures might be necessary to preserve their health and utility for future generations. Moreover, the study of such ancient geological features can inform our approach to modern environmental management by recognizing the deep-rooted natural processes that shape our freshwater resources we can develop more effective strategies to protect and sustain them. The Great Lakes, with their rich geological history, serve as a living laboratory for studying the interplay between Earth's internal dynamics and surface environmental conditions. Echoes of the Past The discovery of the Cape Verde hotspot's influence on the formation of the Great Lakes is a remarkable example of how Earth's internal processes leave lasting imprints on its surface. This revelation not only enhances our understanding of the Great Lakes' origins, but also sheds light on the broader mechanisms that drive geological change over immense timescales. Mantle plumes like the Cape Verde hotspot are fundamental to the dynamic nature of our planet. These plumes are columns of hot, solid material rising from deep within the Earth's mantle, believed to be sourced from the core mantle boundary. As they ascend, they cause melting and deformation of the overlying lithosphere, leading to various geological phenomena such as volcanic activity, mountain building, and the creation of large igneous provinces. In the case of the Great Lakes, the Cape Verde hotspot's thermal influence resulted in the thinning and stretching of the North American lithosphere, creating a low-lying region that would become the bedrock for the lakes. This process highlights how mantle plumes can create specific conditions that set the stage for future geological and climatic events, even if the direct effects of the hotspot are no longer active. The persistence of these geological legacies underscores the interconnectedness of Earth systems. While the hotspot itself may no longer be active in the Great Lakes region, its initial impact continues to resonate through the landscape. The combination of ancient mantle activity and more recent glacial sculpting demonstrates how processes operating on vastly different timescales can converge to shape significant geographical features. Furthermore, the study of ancient hotspots and their long-term effects provides valuable insights into the history of Earth's geology. By mapping the tracks of hotspots like Cape Verde, scientists can reconstruct past plate movements and continental configurations. This information is crucial for understanding not only the formation of features like the Great Lakes, but also the broader evolution of Earth's surface over hundreds of millions of years. The legacy of the Cape Verde hotspot also serves as a reminder of the resilience and adaptability of Earth systems. Despite the passage of millions of years and the myriad changes that have occurred, the foundational features created by deep Earth processes remain integral to the planet's geography and ecology. This enduring influence highlights the importance of studying and preserving our natural heritage, as the forces that shape the Great Lakes continue to play a role in their present and future states. Now it's time to hear from you. What do you find most fascinating about the ancient forces that shaped the Great Lakes? Share your thoughts and questions in the comments below.